So the last Walking Dead uh, game that we played, uh, the final season, was the most anticipated game in the series. Also because Telltale was going way out of business. Because Skybound took over once Telltale just shut down. So we gave it some attention. And then, uh, yeah, we finished it. So we're going to take a step back and like uh, see what life was like before the final season. Yeah, uh, New Frontier. That's where we are right now. We're going on this adventure together, guys. No matter what the circumstance is, we are going to take on this challenge. Uh, see what these five episodes are going to be like instead of four, because it's a bit longer. So, I don't know. Maybe it won't be. But uh, the least we can do is find out and find out what we're up against. We have new characters. We're going to see what's going on. It is semi-blind. I'm going to say that in the intro. Like, uh... I'm recording this, like, uh, post-episode one recording. Like, the first episodes I recorded already. It's already been edited. But, uh, yeah. We are just about to take on another adventure that we have not fully seen yet. Maybe you guys have, but I haven't, so bear with me. But, yeah. From the choices we made uh, in the final season, we're going to do the same thing again this time to build the best relationships with people. Again, I feel like The Walking Dead is kind of like The Sims, except there's fucking zombies around, and we love it. We love it. Best world ever. So, without any further shit, we're going to jump right into this without any further interruptions. Guys, like, we, we, like, we made it. We're, we're, we're doing this together. I don't care what you say. But, yes, a new frontier. It's here. We're doing this. We have a new character, Javi, that we're playing as, and I do not know this guy all that well. Uh, that's why we're doing this. To learn new characters. That's what I'm all about. And I've also not gotten the chance to play a lot of Walking Dead games on my channel, so... Again, I'm taking the step into that kind of adventure and putting it into action. So welcome to it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this very first lovely episode of The Walking Dead A New Frontier. And let's get started. Hello guys and welcome to another series. We're taking a step back. Notice how I've done uh, the final season of The Walking Dead uh, a while ago. We're taking a step back and we're coming to a new frontier where Clementine has first grown up. I've seen a little bit of this. It, it is like semi-blind, so I'm not going to go on the limb and say the whole thing is blind for me because it isn't i've seen like some parts of it can't really put my finger on it but hey i'm excited to begin another walking dead journey so for anybody who's interested tag along with me on this ride and uh yeah just stay tuned uh, oh also um sorry uh give me one second uh, one second y'all uh, uh. didn't hear that guys it is getting it's that time of the year like i think the cold is coming to an end i think we are officially coming into summer we have to get ready for this guys drink plenty of water please i cannot stress that enough so i can finally say that i am shirtless in this episode and i'm proud of it and none of you guys can stop me so yeah it's hot <laughs> anyway Without further shit, let's begin another Walking Dead journey. Without further ado, let's go. So, we can either choose to start a new story or continue the story. I'm going to say that we're going to just gonna start a new one because we have... I've made some decisions and I've made some conclusions and opinions on uh, what I thought of the last season. So, what I'm going to do is start a new one and we can see that Clementine and Javi are in the wallpaper so we can definitely see that and see what we're definitely in for and we can also see that clementine is this or this is our first time growing up so we are in for it this is like our first entry of clementine's maturity level so we are starting a new story let's go ties that bind part one let's yeah, this is it. This is it. Um, of course, there are five episodes, and we have to 
download them all, so that's just the way it works. It's nothing new, really. Uh, more from Telltale, we can obviously see that... Uh, yeah, we can obviously play the first season, season two, all that stuff. And I've already played season four, so I'm already... I did that shit, so... <laughs> uh, anyway, without further ado, on... Start episode one. Let's go. And the classic loading symbol is back. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Guys, it's the same shit. We're just... It's nothing new. It's nothing new. We gotta make the good decisions. Make the best relationships. We already know how it works. Oops, my apologies. Subtitles. All right, my apologies. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up now, Javi. You need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit. Okay, I'm just. You weren't here when Dad was sick. Okay, I get it, but you need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. <sighs> David, hey! Hey, David, man. I had to leave my car. It's, traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No. No. I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Come on, please. Please don't do that. Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? We're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad too! All right? I mean, you're not... You're not the only one dealing with this! And what a fine son you turned out to be. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I can hear you from inside. What's going on? Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. Putting a beer on his you head. That, right? Does that really help? I mean, it is Everything like going on. it's like a cold thing, so I guess it'll work. Well, you got a pretty funny way of showing it. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. 
I'll be around more, honestly. You can count Down on me. it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Again, the way the things are like hand drawn and like animated, like I gotta admire it. It is like sharpened up in the last two seasons. This is our first time seeing something like that. Seeing first time seeing something like that, so uh -huh. just the, Where were you? I was expecting that. <laughs> wow. I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, Mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. Oh, here we go. It is beginning. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. It's like we're basically jumping right into it. Like we don't have any other aspect. We're just going Mr. straight for the kill. You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. The Walking Dead. New frontier. We are jumping into it, guys. Without any hesitation. Guys, we're not even taking any, like, slowness here. We're just going straight for, like, the zombie shit. How are you talking to a zombie, dude? If you guys ever, like, watched the, uh, the haunting and, like, saw, like, the episode, like, the demon child, and oh my god, the demon child of the haunting, like, that's what the guy looks like. He looks like a man. Go watch the episode with Toby. It's, it's pretty fucking good. A Sim, we actually saw that name in, like, the last, uh, game that we played. He was actually one of the characters. We need to get her to the hospital. Well, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana, on the stars. Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey, we have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way.
Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Well, we've got some rugged good looks. We have basically matured a bit, even though we're like the same guy in the same era. Way to travel. Kitchenware all in your Looks trunk. Like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People really? are probably growing this before they realize they needed food. Really? 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 My dude. <laughs> Why? You really think we should be smoking now? Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. Uh, the Walking Dead, like, <laughs> regrets nothing at this point. Uh, it's 2021. Why the fuck yeah. not? Okay, sure. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we are setting an awesome example. We sure the fuck are. What? Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least you'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just won't leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Gabe's been... emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. <sighs> emotional? <laughs> Right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Nah, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Oh yeah. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with... Underwear. Oh my freaking god. Christ. I need to get laid. Jesus. Jesus and peas him. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. You know, the kids can hear you. I just, no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. They're asleep. And besides, we're not really their parents still hmm. uh, it's 
that smell? That's gross. Hey, Mariana, shouldn't you be, uh, sleeping or something? I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. Way to open it up. Los drogas. That's what I meant to say. I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. You heard the crowd. Please, God, let there be candy bars. Amen. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Let's get moving. <laughs> Nothing more satisfying than knocking out some infected hey, in 2021, huh? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. Eavesdrop. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. That is just to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you, you sneaky little. <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner in a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah. Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Well, time to look and oh we are it is smooth. Smooth controls. I can see that right now. Waste oil. No use to us. So we can just look at everything that we want, pretty much. Most of the dashboard is torn out. Seats are gone. Nah, this thing's dead. Everything's dead. The frickin' automobile dead. Even everything's dead. Humans are dead. All that shit. <laughs> Ridiculous. Did I? Am I missing anything? Am I missing anything in particular? Let's check on Mari. Can we walk over to Mari? Like... Am I being blocked? Am I being blocked right now? Huh, apparently not. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. 
A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... But then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. Maybe. That's a great idea, Mariana. So are we finding a pen for Mariana? Like, can we look for that next? Can I sprint at all? Am I able to sprint? No sprinting, apparently. No sprinting. No to sprinting. It's completely forbidden. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. You're right. We'd be totally fucked. No doubt about it. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next. We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? Okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Brr. Well, we can actually. What's the siphon for? Never actually. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. The, the gas. All that shit. All that shit. All that shit. Are we sure that we can't sprint? Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Yeah. Those are like fucking monster truck tires right there. To be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I think we already looked at this thing. Can we climb this? Let's climb it. Looks like there's more to no. see up here. Maybe we can find a pen over there. Let's. I don't know. Let's Anywhere. climb, actually. Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Classic little loading sign. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. I mean, there's a pen in there. Let's find the pen. It's locked. And we just break in. Yep, right. exactly. Here goes nothing. Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. Yep, just let it just drain into that thing without any hesitation. Let's find a pen. Knocked. Oh well. You have a crowbar. You can pry guess. the doors open. Just shove that thing in there. We open the door. We cannot open the door. We can't even open doors. Shit. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close.
Doodly do. Guys, we ain't hesitating. We ain't going back out. Nothing. We're looking in there. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Military terms for door, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> Looks pretty run down. Locked. Everything is, of course, welded shut. Even an uncharted in this game, so let's pry the fuck open. I'm doing it. Not gonna be able to pry this open. Just kick it open. Damn it. You have a foot. You are a man. Well, I guess there's no other option but to freaking leave. Let's just freaking TNT the damn thing open. Like you wouldn't uncharted. But hey. Not everything is possible. What is this? You could break the little window on the door with that and, like, reach in. Or you can just crawl in like this. Check this out. Not the cleanest place. Well, no more at those at least. Let's just be careful. I lost my damn hotspot on. I have to turn it off. Wow. This place is decked out. Well, when would it not be? It's meant to be that way. Well, it looks pretty comfortable. And pretty gross. Somebody done sweat all over this bed anyway, so... Eek. Eek. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Oh, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Supposed to be waiting in the freaking car if you found one. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us. Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Avi, can we? We could stretch out. Sleep well for once? Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. Yes. Uh, so much it. better after some real sleep. The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. Cool. You can have your own. That's probably gonna bite me in the asshole, like, in about 20 minutes. I don't know how I minutes. always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're cool to me. Wow. That means so much. Really. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you.
What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out of here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. No, I'm alone. We're not giving other people away, oh, obviously. That's not what a cool person would do. You lying fuck. We fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey, you assholes in there. I got your boy. You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up. Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. We don't really have a choice. Let's just assume that they're hiding away. Under the floor, that would be. They're gonna see some food is moved as well. Looks like you and your friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. Look, look, I'll get you more food. Okay, I can replace everything, I That's swear. That's the goddamn least you can do. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, just, just let me go, okay? Please. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. I told you this was gonna bite me in the ass at you some point. Find it out for myself. Hey, if you're so curious, open it and find out. No, oh, really. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, fuck it. Oh wow! First death. That has to be a freaking. <laughs> uh, fast reaction. It's fast reaction. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? That's what I get for looking at my mic and setting my freaking side of the game. Hey, if you're so curious, open it and find out. No, oh, really. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, fuck it. Why would you drop the gun, though? Like, why? We can tell these guys are from our new frontier. You saw, like, the tattoo on his neck. Or, like, yeah, the, the brand, at least. Wait, 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 don't you... Well. We get what we give. At some point, right? Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. 
I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. Lonnie was threatening us, brother. There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the heck? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! You could have easily stopped. Like, for real. It was right there. You had plenty of reaction time, brother. Hey! Guys, if we shoot him, we're just gonna have more people up our ass. We're just gonna let the guy go. That's my instinct. forward look I'm no threat to you okay I surrender well that's obvious seeing how you didn't shoot that guy the role model the legend of the walking dead Clementine is back okay bigger better and Don't stronger than ever stupid. before because I'm not as nice as you I won't hesitate You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up. Close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. It is so good to be fucking back, like, doing another one of these. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're good at that. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. I didn't even shoot the guy who had me tied up. But I know you thought about it. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just... Keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh... Well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner. It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Yeah. Same thing that happens to everyone. Lee was... He wasn't in good shape. He wasn't in good here. shape at all. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Well, we got some we got some battling to do here. Without a doubt. Open up. I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. One of these days, those doors are going to close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I don't start trouble. I finish it. Okay, Captain Big Nuts, we get it. But I catch wind of you finishing anything while you're in town, and you're finished. Now piss off. I got shit to do. Jesus. Tell me about it. Well, welcome to Prescott. Dak Prescott, we call that. 
He was a uh, pretty cool. One of them quarterbacks actually. who Yeah, we all know what happened yes. to him. The people on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time though. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around and well that thing yeah like i said this is a pretty cool place hey javi what's what's up my family they're still out there if you guys made it this long I i'm sure you know you'll know what to do Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. I gotta say that Telltale has... I'm loving their choice of camera angle. Like, even this. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? We already have one. We're talking to her right now. The one friend we all had during The Walking Dead. Durr. Chess. Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Gambler, huh? At least. Or is that a gun? Wonder if it's loaded. Gee, you had freaking cartridges and like uh shells on like the side of it. Gee, I wonder why it would be looking like that right now. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh, my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. It's free. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point of talking when I already told you a deal is a deal and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to it. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Hey, 
Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. All right, stop. Seriously, this isn't getting you anything. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She's been our beloved Clementine for all this time. We're backing her up, guys. I don't really care what anybody else says, but we're doing Look at it. my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now. Let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and then she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Guys. I want to say this right now. The reason... I'm sticking to, like, the guns and, like, like sticking with the story about what uh, Eli was doing. We, like, claimed... Claim... Like, the C word is in there. Claimed that Eli was trying to attack uh, us, and we just, we shot the guy. I wanted to stick to that story, because, like, again, even um, the daughter, or, like, the, the niece, um, who loves chocolate, had headphones on, but could still hear through them, and could still fool us. She still heard us and stuff. I can guarantee you Clem would have heard us if we just told him, like, the truth. But I stuck to it to make her, like, feel, just in case she was listening, make her feel that we didn't betray her. So, 
I'm just gonna stick to that right now. Anyway, you don't care. Let's just move on. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? And you do that for me? It's just, it's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's, she's something. Thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Hmm. Trip does sound like convincing in a way. However, like, given, like, his instincts and just knowing that he could be pushy at fucking times, Eleanor has, like, proven herself to be, like, the more, you know, less intimidating person. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, like, say we've known, like, Trip a whole lot more than we've uh, known Eleanor, right. so Trip's I'm sorry, but muscle. Trip just is the case. answer. We'll wait. And get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Jay, we're hunting. So sit still and stop scaring off the food. We're out of food, AJ. We're gonna starve. I'm starving. We gotta. Huh? She's doing the same thing. I don't think a pistol is going to help you that much. You don't hunt with a pistol, I'm sorry, but you just don't. AJ, stay here while I find us dinner. Okay? Oh, she's going to shut the door on her fingers. Tell me you understand. <sighs> it's okay. I'll stay close. Don't worry, you'll see me right through the window. Just look for my hat. Uh, 
uh, you might not want to do that. I'm just saying that right now. That's going to bite you in the ass sometime. I'm just saying that right now. AJ. I told you. I already called it. This game is already semi-blind, but I already called that. Something like that would happen. I already remember this part. <laughs> yeah. I already called it because I remember part of the scene. Because, again, recall from season four where she was missing a finger. Yeah, I have, like, some pretty awkward flashbacks about my worst injuries, too, but, like, uh, I never lost any parts of my body before. Hey, Clem, we almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. Eleanor asked me to make sure you find your people. So I'm gonna honor that and make sure the shit gets done. But why she was so quick to go to bat for you, I got zero idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Guys, that's the place. Shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Just use your foot and kick it over, brother. Like, that's all you can do. Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head, like, on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there, and then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. Ariana, stay back. Just create a diversion, dude. Like, make some noise. Draw them away.
easier than I expected. You found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Gross. Come on. I think we get a pass. Oh. I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and a bubble bath. Wouldn't a bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woo-hoo about, that's all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. The non-working fooler. And the cassette Thanks. player. You're shitting me. Mari. You're shitting me. Again, this game is semi blind. She didn't even get her frickin' chocolate. Oh no. Frickin' Kate's next. Gabe's gonna frickin' make it worse. He's gonna get shot next. Carrying Mariana, she's fucking dead, dude. She's dead, dude. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I'm so. She just. I know, Javi, and there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor, <laughs> which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. Kate, are you okay? I'm fine. Really. She 
she's not. And the longer it takes us to get out of here, the worse off she's gonna be. It's time to go, man. Could we stay here and we finish this? Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now! I already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No! Javi, uh, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Please! Javi, come on! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. And this is when I die a hundred times. I just suck at this kind of thing, but hey, let's just let's just get used to it. Hobby, don't. Well, that is a wrap. For episode one, boy, that is just, I don't know, at least I can say episode one is not semi-blind for me anymore since I've already played through it. Again, I've only watched certain parts of this game, so bear with me on this. Oh, brother. That, I don't know, that kind of snuck up on me. Given, like, uh, how much I've watched The Walking Dead in the past. But, uh, I don't know, it's been a while since I've even watched some of this. Uh, oh, it kind of sucks how, uh, A New Frontier doesn't, like, uh, make, like, those, uh, credit stats like the, like, Season 4 did. Like, when Marlon died, uh, we got, like, the relationships with people, like, saying, Ruby liked that you did this, a Sim liked that you did this, Lewis liked that, Marlon was, like, appreciative of this, AJ liked this, stuff like that. But we didn't get one here. I don't know. They didn't. I guess I just didn't think of the idea until then. Uh, but uh, hey, what can you say? It is Telltale, so they come up with the new. They just come up with new ideas each time. So, huh, well, rude awakening. I can say that right now. However, I do hope that you guys enjoy this lovely and sparkly episode, and first episode of the Walking Dead. The Walking Dead: A New Frontier. So. Given that we have made this a strong opening, we will continue to do this sort of thing in the upcoming episodes. So, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment, or anything else. Peace out, everyone, and it is good to be back.